I've racked up five mailbag items, and so it's time for another mailbag. The tracking numbers for some of these packages were all messed up, so um, that means that these value amounts might be a little messed up too. Um, but they're all the ones that are messed up are ordered on June 4th and arrived June 23rd. So uh, I'll try to arrange the prices after, but my best guess is that this one was $15.04. And that is correct. Uh, probably gonna have to zoom you in. You know what? All these things are individual. I'm going to open them all up and then show you what they are. And so here's what was in those foil bags. So it looks like there are uh, seven of one type and then two of another type. But really these are nine individual sensors and uh, they're only distinguished by the lettering on the bottom here which is really hard to get on camera. You're just going to have to take my word for it. And what they are is they are environmental sensors or gas sensors. So MQ2 is a smoke sensor, alcohol, methane, natural gas, LPG, um, that's uh, liquid propane, uh, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, combustible gas, and air quality. Uh, I did not see a easy Arduino sketch for these things here online or on the seller's listing. So I'm going to have to go take a look online and find some code. And so that will make its own really nice video. Some of these things I'll have no way of uh, testing. Uh, but like the alcohol sensor, for example, I do have isopropanol, which should work for it. Um, CO, um, I can always run my car, might have a small percentage of CO. Uh, hydrogen, I can always put an electric current through water. But we might uh, give some of these a shot and see how well they work. So yeah, um, I just figured I'd have a nice suite of gas sensors in order to play with. Um, I would never ever rely on these things to be, you know, giving life-saving data always have a proper CO uh, detector, not using one of these sensors. But for messing around, these things should be plenty of fun. On to the next one. Next one up is this boxy one here, and I can't really read the label. Yeah, I don't know what it says, um, because it's been reshipped. Uh, but this is June 4th, June 23rd. $5.82 is my best guess, although I'm really not sure about that one. I think this one is the one I am least confident about. Oh yeah, I totally got that wrong. This here is a whole bunch of logic ICs and you can probably see which ones there are here 74 HC 00 HC 10 HC 74 139 174 a whole bunch of these things and um, this is because I am kind of a newbie when it comes to sort of analog logic and so I figured I would get an assortment yeah of all the chips and have a play with them. So there we go in all their glory. Comes in a nice case, all punched into these this uh, foam here. There we go. So yeah, there are 30 in all. Five times one, two, three, four, five, six. Five times six, that's 30. Um, I would have to check if they're all here, but uh, the quantity looks correct. Nice little box. And I had committed in one of my um, podcasts that I would make a video about each and every one of them. It should only be a couple minutes a pop, but uh, I'm committed. I'm going to give it a shot because I want to learn how to do these things, and I often forget what I've already learned once it's time to use it again. So making videos will be nice to remind me, and it'll help you guys as well. So if you're excited for that, let me know in the comments below so I know what to prioritize, but I think these things will be tons of fun. On to the next one. Next one up is this one here. Again, a mystery as to what it is. 
uh, June 4th to June 23rd, $11.53. Aha, I do know what these are, and it is $11.53, so I got one wrong out of three. But I'm going to have to zoom you in for these things, that's for sure. So this is a kit of 30 values times 20 each, 0805 sized inductors. So these are tiny, tiny little inductors, 0805 sized, and it's a variety pack because I am starting to build more and more circuit boards. I do like the concept of surface mount, and so I'm keeping some in stock. Now I have 0805 resistors, I'm starting to build a cache of LEDs, and I'm going to be after capacitors pretty soon as well. So I'm going to have a whole stash of these things for use on my PCBs. I think pretty much everyone should have a stash of stuff so you don't have to go looking for parts when the time comes. Oh look, there's some loose ones. You see that? They're just sitting on the, on the very edge there. Maybe about to fall off. Maybe they're a little too close with the scissors. So yeah, these packs are great ways to stock up like that. I never know what kind of inductors I need. I don't know what kind of resistors and, and et cetera and capacitors I need. So I'm just going to grab a variety pack of these things. This was $11, fairly cheap for 600 components. And then whatever I run out of, I can always just reorder a hundred quantity of that specific inductor. So yeah, whole bunch of them. Try to keep some in stock. We are just flying through the mailbag today, which is uh, could be good, could be bad. Shorter videos tend to have higher retention. Um, this one here is Relays. Came in today, actually, so June 4th to June 29th, and at $24.97. Kind of expensive, but I think it should be worth it as long as this thing works. So it said Relays. It's not relays, uh, more like relay, uh, just one of them. This is a uh, DC controlled DC solid state relay. So these things get really expensive when you start going higher current. Oh, wow, this is a chunky guy. Look at that. I have never owned a um, solid state relay. And so this is the first one. Um, but I hear they're capable of switching massive loads. So this one specifically, I think is good to, I think it's supposed to say here, I think it's 400 amps. I don't know if it's really that much, but um, it's a lot of current. I'd have to check on the, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's what 400, unless that, that means 40 amps, it could be 40 amps. Let's see here. Okay, so so you put the, oh look, so your load is on the positive side, then you switch the negative side of the load, and then, that doesn't make sense, zero cross circuit on that side, because why would it be zero cross when you're DC, oh well, regardless, and then you put your control circuit on this side. And it seems like this should be isolated. I hope it's isolated one side to the other. Anyways, this thing is like chunky. Let's experiment a little bit with this. Well, my workbench looks like a disaster, but uh, hear, hear me out here. All right, so there's the uh, solid state relay. A subscriber has sent me these heat sinks, which I thought were for solid state relays, and it looks like that's exactly what they are for. So I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna install this. So we'll install the SSR on a heatsink, which should be pretty neat. I'm not sure which subscriber. I don't. I think it was. Um, I think it was anonymous. Whoever sent me this. So if you sent me these, thank you. I didn't have to order any for when I ordered this uh, solid state relay. And in fact. I have been looking for solid state relays for a little bit, but um, yeah, I just, you know, sometimes I forget. I've got a lot of things on my list. So that is secured down. Now, usually you would use heatsink compound, but this is only a test, so I'm not too worried about it for now. Okay, 
So the output now, so the, the positive needs to come out into here. So from the module, I'll plug in this one, one watt resistor like this. The output should be off, so I'm not too concerned. And this I want to plug in to the solid state relay, so just have a bullet connector here. Plug that bullet connector in, and then I'll just pinch the wire underneath this. I don't know if it goes under the tab. Yeah, it seems to go under the tab. So I'll just pinch this wire underneath this tab. Typically, you would use a spade connect or a spade, a um, fork connector, uh, or something like that. But I think this will do just fine. So positive to here. So same thing as this here. So you got my positive, and this will be 12 volts. This is a one ohm resistor, so it should give me 12 amps of current. And it's sitting on top of a different resistor just for so it doesn't burn my table. Um, so into there, now from here, I can go right to the negative. I don't have a nice piece of wire for the negative, so I'll just use just a little piece of 18 gauge wire. It should be fine because it's really short. Okay, and I'm just going to slide this along and pop it under here. And of course it came out on this end. So yeah, these are, you know, you need to use terminals for these normally, but again, just testing here. So that should be fine. And so now I should be able to turn this on and we shouldn't see any current flow. Here's hoping. No current flow. Good. I'm turn this off now. On the other side, I will uh, give this 12 volts here and ground here. In fact, I'm going to move it down to, to um, 5 volts after just to see if it'll work. But first I'm going to pinch this 10K resistor because I don't... It says control circuit and then there's diodes and resistors, but I'm not sure if this has its own resistor for the base of, you know, of, of this thing. So I'm going to put a 10K because it should be a logic signal, should be good enough. And so I'm going to turn this on. You know, I haven't checked if my wires reach down here. Okay. And this should turn it on. Let's see? It does not. That is 12 volts right now. Through this 10K. This is the negative. This is the positive. I'm getting nothing. I wonder if I need more current, but, hmm, interesting, because this is definitely on to the positive here, and then to the negative here, just like this here, positive, load, positive, so positive, load, positive, and then negative to ground here, and I'm not sure if they're supposed to be connected together, this is a completely isolated supply. I'm going to turn up the current a little bit see if that works. No, nothing yet. Okay. Let's turn down the current. So I have current limited my supply. I'm going to try just touching it real quick here. I'm not sure how much current is needed for this. Oh, that turned it on. Okay. Must have a resistor internally because I am only getting about 10 milliamps on my power supply. Okay, so that's not too bad. So if I hook this up, just like so, my solid state relay is now on, and this resistor is pulling 123 watts. It's a 50 watt resistor. It's going to get real hot. But my goal is to see if the solid state relay gets particularly hot. Oh yeah, 100, 120 watts. This is hot. This wire might be getting warm too. Nope, so far so good. Okay, we're going to cut it. That resistor is just absolutely boiling hot. Is my solid state relay hot though? It's a good question. The heat sink is ice cold. The metal of the SSR seems ice cold as well. 
Ooh, there's a lot of heat coming out of that uh, resistor though. You can just smell the burning. Who would have thought 50 ohm resistors did not, uh, 50 watt resistors did not like a hundred and some watts thrown at it. I think whatever heat was built up in the solid state relay. Oh, it's ice cold. Okay. So yeah. Uh, oh, and I checked. Um, this is apparently a 400 watt or 400 um, uh, amp solid state relay. Don't know how valid those claims are. I certainly have no way of testing 400 um, amps DC, but uh, I am planning on using it on something that's uh, only about, uh, I think it's about 30 amps or so. And so, you know, a little bit of headroom is good. Awesome. I need to wait for this thing to cool now. You can tell it's changed colors compared to its brother here. And then I'll bring you back for the last item. And the final item for today is uh, has been unboxed because I didn't know what the hell it was. Um, this is sent to me by this company, Sigmund. They were uh, really keen to send me this. Um, I wasn't sure because I didn't know if it really fit the channel or not. Uh, but a good friend of mine said that he got his and um, I should take a look at it because it's extremely useful. So here it is. This is a laser level. This is available on Amazon, I believe. But it, it is a three-way laser level. You can fill your entire room up with uh, laser lines. So I'm going to take a look at this. Um, I'm not sure which direction to go with, you know, with looking at this. Like, uh, I really don't know what, um, what I can show you about it. Uh, what I can tell you is that the foam in the case is pretty freaking awesome. All right. So it comes with a remote USB lead, some sort of target. I'm, look, I'm not a, uh, construction worker by trade. I have no idea how to use these things, but it comes with this little uh, base as well. Uh, and there's a tripod mount on the bottom of the laser level itself. It is USB rechargeable with USB-C. Actually, that's quite fancy. Um, yeah, so it's, it sends lasers all over your room. I mean, who doesn't like lasers? And so here I can thread this on. And that sort of sets sits down like this. And then you can turn it on and it'll shine lasers all over the place. You can see they're fair they're they're actually really bright. It's kind of impressive. Alright, so there. And then you can change the intensity of them. Or turn them off completely. You can change the on off status of vertical, horizontal, and the other vertical. So that's pretty neat. You kind of see on my arm there. Like that. Uh, it's totally rechargeable. It apparently auto sets. Like you get it pretty close to level and then um, it sets itself. Also, you got this little knob where you can rotate them around like so. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, you guys are going to have to tell me what you think is interesting about this. Um, we can definitely take it apart and take a look at the uh, charging circuitry and stuff like that. Uh, that might be pretty neat. But other than that, like, uh, yeah, just going to, you know, point it at things and see if they're level. And so these five items make today's mailbag video. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters who makes ordering this stuff uh, easier, worthwhile, whatever you want to explain that as. Um, thanks to Sigmund for sending me this laser level. I will try to do it justice. I just don't know what I'm doing, but I warned you that when you sent it. And um, let me know what kind of things you want to see in a video first so I know how to prioritize my video queue. Thanks for watching.